Hello Guardians and welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. Today we'll be having team compositions for Haru Abscondytis. But before that, I'd like to showcase what uh, or what is the build currently that I have for Haru so that you may expect at least more or less at this build. This is how her damage is going to be outputted. So we, I have her at level 80 already. So max HP is at 27, 780. Attack is at 4856, four, which is, I think, the highest that I have among my ops. And we have defense, which is low. Max HP is actually low as well. Alignment index is at 448, which is decent. So have her at level 80. Her weapon I also have at uh, level 80. Logistics, I have a Kitsu squad uh all at 15 manifestation it's zero but my neuronics is actually at full capacity already so the first team that we have here is going to be haru and you have um kaguya akasha and you have chen shing here your four star chen shing why chen shing she is most probably the the most likely pair or the most likely uh, third wheel to the combo between Kaguya and uh, Haru because Kaguya and Haru will definitely be kind of a permanent pair because of Kaguya's um, ability to lower um, all type resistance by 24%. So this is what you want her to be there to increase Haru's damage. Also, the dart is going to... Uh, what they call this they're going to uh, the dart is going to center them or suck them towards the center so that you can more or less make sure that you deal damage to all of them so that is why kaguya will be your your um your main permanent companion for haru the only one the only um difference here will be the third slot but my recommendation as your kind of your primary team will include chen sheng for star why chen sheng because um number one if we take a look at her kit her weapon the one that i put there is odd alley cat so increases full squads you energy recovery by 35 percent which is nice because it includes the whole squad, which also Haru needs. So aside from the gun, we will be going to her support skill. Her support skill has two components that you need. Number one is going to be the healing. The healing for this one, even if you're far away from the pod, the healing, uh, the healing um, thingy, it's just going to follow you to where you are located at, even if you're far from the pod. So that is what is great about this. And after picking up Talisman Birth, increases standard skill damage an additional 10% for 3 seconds. Which is also nice to have, especially when you're using Haru. That is why she is, um, she is priority number one in terms of rounding out your trio here. Uh, so she gives you healing, she gives you standard skill, you know, additional standard skill buff and damage, and she has um, new energy recovery courtesy of her gun. Moving on to the next uh, trio, uh, again, I won't go through explaining um, Kaguya again, but I'll go through Hush, Frisha Hush. Frisha Hush will be a of or will be of value to you because of her damage reduction so it's built into her support kit you will also have to to open this up i haven't opened it up so it's iron body effect which gives more toughness to your operative that is why haru is going to be my second choice for your team the third team which is Obviously going to be Yao four star. Um, I won't I, I won't delve much into Yao. Yao is very obvious. She does only heals, but she does the highest amount of heals. So if you need a lot of heals because the stage is tough, because more or less for Haru Absconditus, you need to augment her lack of defense and her lack of HP. That is why you need a lot of healing, especially if she 
takes a lot of damage. So therefore, Yao as the highest healer is going to be on your third team composition. Number four is uh, going to be Siri. Siri is just here, guys. Um, I think you all know this. Siri is just here because of um, the shield that she gives. Uh, so that um, Haru Abscondytos can really just uh, slash it out with her standard skill. And pro plus there's a movement speed uh, decrease within her skill as well. So please take note if you need um, those two mechanics, movement uh, speed decrease and a shield, then you incorporate her in the trio, uh, in the duo of Kaguya and Haru Abscondite. So the three of them. The final um, team comp that I'm suggesting is more of an attack based team. Not really, you know, not really, uh, not really, it doesn't really have any defensive um, capabilities. It's all out offense. So I'm, I selected Fanny Coronet to round out your, you know, your team options for the team build for Haru Abscondytis. So the reason why she's here, it's because of um, her support skill, which is giving an increase of rate of fire. But you need to also open these two up to really maximize this support skill. Also, <clears throat> by the way, for Fennec Coronet, she is going to be your secondary DPS because um, Haru sometimes has a difficulty in, in destroying mechs, especially if there are mech bosses and armored units. Definitely Fennec can help her with that. That is why she's there for additional DPS or a secondary DPS. Okay, so with all of that, um, my only honorable mention, just in case if you want to include uh, it in your roster, just in case that you already have, um, let's say for example, you have this roster, you don't need any, you, you need more, sorry, you don't, if you need more uh, crowd control or um, crowd management, you can actually replace Kaguya with Wild Hut. So she's my honorable mention. Just in case if you need more, you know, control the crowd, uh, freeze, frostbite, then you put her in and uh, you could actually still use any of the supports that I mentioned. Just swap in Wild Hunt. Again, she's just honorable mention, just in case you need more support to hold off more mobs. So that is just it. So with this, I'll give you guys a demo on how she's going to be played more or less, especially with this primary team that I mentioned. I like this team because this, for me, is well balanced and can give Haru a very, very nice synergy for her kit. Okay, guys, so we have here waves and waves and waves of, uh, what do you call this, of enemies. So you just have to put Haru there lash out that uh, that uh, fidget spinner <laughs> and then you could just uh, what do you call this you could just uh, dismantle enemies as you see fit so again if you run out of energy might as well do with a pistol the pistol by the way is um, Haru's own pistol so it's it's nice it's a very very it has a very very nice damage output by the way for a pistol plus it has 12 um ammo capacity so it's not really a problem using it so at this point um as you can see you have 4000 5000 damage which is actually decent or even above average versus other pistols so with that said, again, just place a pod there so that you continuously heal. And um, you also have um, that, you know, remember the buff for this for, for the skill, for the standard skill. So it gives you additional buff, with, 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 with which gives you additional damage as well. Let's try to regenerate our, our what do you call this, our standard skill energy. And after the ultimate, let's uh, spam your standard skill. Okay, so another Kaguya fidget spinner is out. 
no energy, therefore going back to pistol. You can actually just, you know, if you want to solo one enemy, if it, it's okay with the pistol, even if that enemy is actually armored as long as it's not that tough. So again, bring out, bring out the, what do you call this? Bring out the pod. You can actually uh, move while doing the skill. Standard skill for Haru. So for now, I think we're good. So if you haven't uh, fully charged your support skill, it's actually okay that you can use your standard skill without it. So there you go. So th I think this is the last round. So better be prepared that you have your um, standard skill ready to spam that skill because again mobs are very very uh, very very easy to over or no, to just overpower you especially if especially if you are corded like this. So I think we're at the last boss. Uh, I'm already getting sloppy here. Uh, let's just uh, do this with a pistol. Final boss is a bit tricky because he likes to cordon me always. So again, just spam your, um, what do you call this? Spam your pod. Because it will just give you enough HP to survive a certain level. So, there you go, guys. That is how effective Chen Xing is with Haru and with Kaguya Akasha. So, that is it, guys. Hopefully, I was able to help you with the team build. And thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden. And I'm out of here.